kids today go through a lot. There's kids every day that make the decision to drop out of school. And anything we can do to motivate them to stay and continue and finish, we need to do. We are about to celebrate the students who are doing whatever it takes to graduate and stay on track as of this moment today. We invite family members, parents, guardians, siblings into the building and we go celebrate each child individually. When you take the gown to the classroom, take it out of the package, walk into the room and scream, you are eligible to graduate and put it on them and give them a hug, okay? Yeah. We have a student committee that designs the cap and gown and no one else knows what it looks like besides those members of the committee and of course select people from Herf Jones who is our partner. I, I don't know of any other school that does this. And what we ask the graduation committee every year is to design a cap and gown that represents the personality of your graduating class. So every year it's unique. Do you want to see what it looks like? Yeah? yeah? So this is the first viewing of the 2022 cap and gown. With last names on the back. One of the things that our students really love is they get their last names on the gown. Again, it's that individualized celebration even though it's a class as a whole. You all ready? All right, Miss Pridgen, I need some music and I need it loud and proud. We ready? Miss Oot! Pride is my favorite day of the year because the emotions that you see of pride, the tears of joy, it's, it's just a phenomenal experience. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, man. Great job. Great job. Um, my first year as principal, I found out that we had a couple students that didn't walk the stage because they couldn't afford a cap and gown and I said that will never happen again. So ever since then, we have found a way to pay for the caps and gowns because no child should ever miss out on that piece, that opportunity in life, because of money. We got passion right here. We got purpose right here. The first day of the year when seniors come to school, one of the things I do is I have them sign the robe that I'm going to wear at graduation as a commitment to me and the school that they're going to do whatever it takes to graduate. And it's just become something that to me is very meaningful. And then every year I take the gown that I wore and I hang it in the hallway as a reminder of each class that we've done this with. But the other part is for all the underclassmen, those 9th, 10th, and 11th graders are sitting in classrooms saying, I want that in four years, I want that in two years, I can't wait for my turn. And that's what it's all about. And it's just a way to make sure that kids are seen and that they're celebrated for who they are. <laughs>